All right, <clears throat> six six o'clock. I have one more meeting at seven p.m. and then I'm I'm done for the day. So between uh, now and then, I'm gonna crank out a, a video for video for you. I just got back down from, from being downstairs. That's not true. I was upstairs. I am now downstairs. So my office is in the basement. Uh, my youngest son. Preston got in a little, little bit of trouble uh, today at after school. Apparently, he was using the the laptop a little longer than he was supposed to, and <clears throat> didn't get off of it when he was supposed to. So we got a little bit of a a, a timeout. Uh, coincidentally, my wife also has hated this dogwood tree in front of our house. These are related. I'll, I will wrap it together. I'll weave it. I'll weave it in. You know I will. You know I'll weave it in. My wife earlier today cut down this dogwood tree that. She's hated since the moment we moved into the house. She thought today was the perfect day to do that. And then on her way to work, she said, hey, uh, as a chore for you, can you please drag all these uh, branches to the side of the house? And I was like, gladly, dear. Glad I would gladly uh, do that. <laughs> and then on the way home from after school with Preston in the back, I'm like, you know, the perfect punishment <laughs> for being on you know, electronics a little too long. It is going to be for you to drag some limbs to the side of the house. So check off that task. Now let's be honest, how good is an eight year old going to do it? <laughs> His attention to details, probably not at my level, but Hey, at least he's trying. At least he's, at least he's giving it a shot and I don't have to do the bulk of the work. <laughs> Hey, that's how you learn, right? That's how you learn. You change cause pain causes change. That's what my grandfather used to always say. That has nothing to do, once again, with what I'm about to talk about. What I'm about to talk about is probably in a, a topic I should put spend ten to fifteen to twenty minutes on. I how do I say this? What what percentage of the users in the enterprise space do you think use Outlook over any other, and I don't care, Gmail, Yahoo, AOL, <laughs> pick, pick an email platform. Who, what do you think enterprise users use the most? I'm guessing the answer is probably Outlook, right? And look at my screen. I have, well, I don't even have it up yet. <laughs> the point is, did you know you can integrate Zoom with Outlook? Let me rephrase that and say it a little bit more slowly so you're paying attention. Did you know you can integrate, integrate, integrate Zoom with Outlook? Let that sink in. <clears throat> Look at that. Check mark. Integrate Zoom with Outlook. Did you even know that was there? There's even a little... Question mark, what does that say? Show Zoom contact status, presence, and set Zoom as default chat, meetings, and phone app in Outlook. So you're an Outlook user, like most enterprise users are probably Outlook users, and you use Zoom, you could blend these two giants together in the UCAS space. Yes, I consider email still a part of UCAS really low on that on that tier of, of functionality compared comparatively to chat and, and presence because you know I love zoom chat but how do you integrate it with with outlook and zoom together well the first thing you do is click that button that says integrate zoom with outlook then let's go to outlook Let's go to Outlook real quick. Boom, right here. I'm going to close this setting out. You know I love these two people. They're two of my favorite people, MOD Administrator and Amy at Zoomineer. Amy is on Zoom right here. Look at that. Her presence is green. Her presence is green in Zoom. <laughs> Let's go to Outlook. Look at her presence is green green it matches look at that look at mod administrator's presence it is red it is red look at this red for busy look at this it's red on in a zoom meeting it doesn't say red busy it says red 
in a Zoom meeting, busy in a Zoom meeting, free for the next eight hours. What kind of wizardry is that? That's Outlook. That's Zoom. Let's extend it one more level. Look at this. I'm in Teams right now. I'm in Teams right now. Look at this. MOD administrator is busy. Look at his status. I've set in a Zoom meeting. I've literally set the status in Teams. It sucked it into Outlook, and then I can see it using Zoom. What? Watch this. I'm just going to go be right back. Right? I'm just going to be right back. I'm going to edit this. I said, uh, Patrick. Well, helps if I type that right. Dragging branches. What is going on there? I don't know what's happening there. Uh, what is, what is, um, what is the team's doing? And not type that. Watch dragging whew, branches. I'm dragging branches. Okay. Let's do that. Now I've set my status in teams to away. I've set my um, personal note in teams to dragging branches. What do you think is going to happen? This is a live demo. I swear. Uh, we're going to have to figure it out. It's going to take a little while to, to pull down, but the point is it's going to drag that outlook is going to, is going to subscribe to that presence indicator in teams and pull that into teams. In the meantime, watch this. I can do a few things in outlook. One, I can email, not really the point of what I'm, my discussion. I can chat with admin right from the email contacts. I can call the MOD admin. Now, what do you think? Remember we just showed you the zoom and integrate part of that. What chat function do you think I'm going to use if I hit this chat function? What chat function do you think I'm going to use? Oh my God, would you look at that? It actually opened up Zoom chat from Outlook. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Uh, this is tomfoolery, Patrick, you say. I could actually send messages to MOD administrator from Zoom chat from Outlook. What? what? That is nuts. That's crazy. Let's go look at it again. Look at look something else. What if I wanted to call MOD administrator? I just want to hit the call button. In Outlook, I'm going to call the MOD administrator. What do you think is going to happen? Oh my word! Is it opening up Zoom phone to call MOD administrator from Outlook? That, my friends is amazing that shows you the power of zoom as a platform the power of zoom to integrate with outlook the power of zoom to create chat in zoom chat to create calls in zoom calls all from outlook because i'm guessing remember i'm guessing that most enterprise level customers use Outlook as their email platform. And wouldn't it be amazing, depending on what uh, application you're using, whether it's Zoom for meetings, Zoom for phone, Zoom for chat, which you should because you know I love Zoom chat, Teams, Outlook, you can then synchronize those two and integrate Outlook with Zoom to do all your daily UCAS tasks. I just showed you right here how to pull down presence from Teams and Outlook into, into Zoom. I have the ability to use Zoom for all my functions like calling and chat and email because I launch into those platforms. Again, you know, this is a, if I was demoing Teams and Outlook integration, this would be a really, really bad demo because it's not pulling over, but hey, 
uh, Outlook or Teams are not my product. <laughs> but the point is, you get the point, is that I can now use this function. I can use my contacts function in Zoom, in Outlook, and integrate these two. I can pull in presents from Outlook. I can make calls from Outlook using Zoom phone. I can chat from Outlook using Zoom chat. I can do all these functions because I integrated Zoom with Outlook by clicking that button. That, that's probably the most amazing thing I've seen today. Because, you know what, I'm just going to stop talking there. I think I've said my point many times. I don't think I need to say it again. All right, enjoy your Thursday, everybody. <laughs>